you guys and girls in the elimination. Time to jump aboard the Loom Train. It's me, it's me, it's JJD, JJ Double J, the Illuminator here, the sweet one. Also known by almost countless other aliases and nicknames, but we won't get into that right now. Coworker of mine, I don't understand how he could think the bosses were picking on him or that he was in the right or whatever. Let me tell you this little story. Coworker of mine works at a building that has kind of like a uh, an auditorium type thing, and I don't want to say like a big auditorium. It probably seats about a hundred people that they would use if they had like a like in service classes for for like it's it's kind of like a uh, I want to say almost like a science type building where they have people that do research and this that and the other thing. So you know every now and then they have some type of a class or a speaker or something. Well, he has to clean this room. It's part of his designated area in this building that he works at. Um, the problem is, this person tends to try to get away with slacking off from time to time, and the bosses know this. For the most part, they don't bother him because he will do pretty much what he needs to do most of the time. But every now and then, he needs that swift kick in the butt. Uh, so, one of the bosses went over there and asked him if he cleaned the auditorium because there was some type of a function earlier that day. Now, here's where I think he was wrong. He said he did, but he really didn't. So what happened was, the boss kind of had like a sixth sense and said, well, you know what, I'm not sure if he's telling the truth, I'm going to go check. He went and checked, and the place was a disaster zone. It was a real mess. So he said, I thought you said you cleaned this. And I guess he started making up some lies, and it just it really sounded really, you know, far fetched and this, that, and the other thing. And the boss, you know, kind of got mad, didn't write him up or anything, but I guess he laid into him a little bit by saying, you know, like, listen, you know, don't lie to me. I mean, if you didn't do it, just say you were saving it for later or you were going to do it after your supper break or something, whatever. But I guess some people are better at lying than others. They just think that their work is so good that it's not going to be checked. But I honestly, knowing this guy the way I do, and you pick up on a lot. When you've been there for as long as I have, you pretty much pick up on people and the way they work. You know, you, you pretty much can know people just by working with people. You know, you, you can make almost like a folder on everybody. You know, eventually, you, you know how everybody works. Uh, and that's because I've been there, you know, 23 years, whatever. So... He lied, and they weren't good enough lies. But the thing is, there are good enough lies to tell. You know what I mean? I mean, you could say, just like he said, you could say, oh, well, I'm saving it for last because, you know, I'm working my way that way. Or or there were still people using it, so I didn't get to do it early. You could always say something. But the thing is, he's all mad at the boss because the boss checked up on him. And that's where I think he's wrong. You know, you got caught because of your lousy lying. So take your lumps. You shouldn't have lied to begin with. You could have just said, I haven't done it yet. You know, the boss would have left and you could have went back to slacking off and, you know, maybe now that you knew the boss said something about it, you go there and do the basics anyway. I mean, just go and, you know, pick up the extra papers or if somebody left a coffee behind or something, whatever. You know, it's not like it was trying to clean like a, a civic center or a big auditorium that holds, you know, 8,000 people. We're only talking about maybe it holds 100 Maybe a little more. I don't know. I just think that it's wrong for him to be mad. Because it was his own fault. That's what I think. The thing is, you know, know your lies. Be ready with some of the stuff. If he asks about it, always be ready. Especially if you know you didn't do something. And probably didn't plan on doing it for whatever reason. Have a lie ready. I don't know. I guess some people just can't work a boss like other people can. But that's life, right? Everyone's different. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Put your comments below. I'm off to the races. Say love, Risky. I love you all. Be good to yourselves. This is the Illuminator, and I'll be back. Loomis! Yes. Are you eating here today? Yes. Are you eating here tomorrow? Um, no. But you are eating here today? Yes. 
But not tomorrow. No. But you are eating today. Yes. 